Hello, everybody. Uh, we haven't been back on YouTube vlogging our chicken story because, I don't know, we just got busy. But I wanted to update you on the chicken situation after we butcher all the chickens. We are actually running low on chicken already. We've been eating a lot of chicken, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I think I have a few uh, bagged like legs and and just like a couple of each and i left five whole chickens for us but we don't really eat whole chicken so i'm out here piecing them okay and this is one whole chicken plus the two um drumsticks that i'm cooking right now <clears throat> and this is another whole chicken i'm gonna do and then i have another one in the refrigerator already thawed out that i'm gonna peas after this one so let me take you on the freezer so you can see how much is left from the 21 chickens right 21 chickens we ended up making yeah but remember we gave away three we gave away we gave away four didn't we uh, okay. yeah we gave away four chickens whole chickens <clears throat> so let me let me show you okay so all right so we can see the bottom that's so we have one whole chicken left as far as whole chickens okay one whole chicken oh no there's two whole chickens there underneath there's another one three and that's it that's it for the whole chickens and you see we have pieces we have tenders and there's our thighs there's our thighs back down there so we still have pieces but this is not gonna last us um, till next year. So what we discovered is that we need to, this is carcass to make stew or, um, broth. This is carcass as well. This is carcass. Wings. So we don't have very much left. So... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to do the same amount of chickens twice a year and either that um we're also thinking we're probably gonna do batches to sell we're gonna sell whole chickens um i think those cells will be good uh we're just gonna we're, we're gonna dabble into the selling the, the selling the chicken situation, but I think a lot of people would appreciate eating whole, fresh, organic, real meat chicken uh, in these last days. So this is a trial we're gonna do. Come September, we're gonna order our chicken. Uh, we're gonna order our chickens in September. Our chicks, right? September. 25 in September and 25 in October. And once those chickies are good to go into the tractor outside in the pasture, we're gonna order we're gonna order another, that will be four weeks after, we're gonna order another batch of 25 chickies and put those in the brewer where the other while the other ones are growing. So that when the time comes to butcher, four weeks later after that, we'll butcher again. So we'll have we'll grow chicken twice a year. Three batches of 25 throughout the year. For this year, and then we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're gonna dabble into selling chicken, see how that goes. But our chickens range between five point, well, this past batch, they range between 5.1 and six point. Majority of our chickens were six pounds. Very few of them were five pounds. Point one, um, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and piece this chicken uh, and the other one.
school chickens by any means. I am not an expert at piecing chickens. I had to do it this time, this first time that we're, that we're killing chickens for the first time. I always buy my chicken at the store in pieces, so I am learning, so yeah, just letting you know. <laughs> so here's all three chickens in pieces. Uh, here's some of the skin I took out, and here are the three carcasses. So let's go put them in the in the freezer outside. Okay. So here it goes. All right. Let me show you another thing that we're doing. Also, we're trialing some grass. We are we planted some grass seed and because we want our chickens to eat more grass. I know this is not a lot of grass for 25 chickens. There's also more uh, soil, more dirt over there, but we're trialing it and uh, if it grows and it's good we're going to continue to put more grass over there that way the chickens will rotate all through this all 25 chickens um through the eight weeks and um, by the time they start let's say we start here um by the time they're done over there there over there um we start them all the way over here again and by that time um the chicken the grass will already have grown also we're going to remove we're going to clean all that and we're going to grow more grass there too um and we just want everything to be grass uh we want to actually we want to do it carefully because we don't want to just be spending a lot of water also and supposedly this grass does is drought tolerant so we're not planning on watering it every day but um yeah we're gonna clean all this that way when we bring the chicken tractor it doesn't stop here but it actually continues all the way over there and back and forth i bought this peach tree but i think it was dead by the time i bought it i've been watering it and i think i bought a dead tree so we're gonna get this out of the way so we can put grass but let me show you the chickens how they're doing so we have two roosters this is richard right there and richard already put the hands to bed he's very much into his role of the boss here and he does his little rooster dance when I come in so that's the alpha here that's another rooster that we're not naming because it's gonna go into the crock pot uh, because he's just very docile and we really only want one rooster and the hens are in there Good night, ladies. Let me see if I can get a better shot. We leave the um, we leave the back door open because it is extremely hot.
here in Arizona, we have triple digits, so we don't want them to cook. Four hens and two roosters. We don't want them to cook at night. Even though the temperatures do lower, it's still very, very hot. Um, but yeah, Richard already put them to bed. Um, they have a ton of water. Um, their feeders. We recently just came back from vacation, so we had all these waters. Um, so they'd be enough. And I put ice water here so they can cool off their feet. But this is uh, the little chickies. Now they're full grown. The hens are not laying yet. But um, they're not laying, but they will soon. I think they're 15 weeks. So that is the, the chicken situation here. Our plan is um, to raise chickens, more chickens for us, and to raise chickens for sale. Uh, the So we ended up with, what, 17 chickens for two. We're a family of three, but Caleb's not eating chicken right now. And um, so it was just myself, my husband and I, I mean, um, I'm gonna turn the water on. The sprinkler is going so they can water the grass when we went on vacation that got watered too i have some pumpkin seedlings uh, that i just sowed the seeds today and i have the baby boo mini pumpkins i have the jack b little mini harvest blend and i have the uh, what's this called where is it oh. Water's gonna get me. I don't know how you pronounce that. Galax, Galux, Galux. I'm gonna put a picture here so you can see what that pumpkin is. I know a lot of people would say, oh, that's an ugly pumpkin. And some people might say, that's a pretty pumpkin. I just think that it's an exotic pumpkin. It's word, whatever. I just think it's cool, so I'm going to grow it, see if I can with that many birds I have in my yard. All kinds of birds, bunnies, I mean rabbits, and a lot of quail. So that is the update for the chickens. We're running out. We need more chickens. We're going to grow to sell, and the, the hens are soon to start laying. Um, we will have brown eggs, hopefully green and blue, that we have the Easter eggers. So. Yeah, thank you for watching this little update and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.